listen to your body more because everyone is is made differently and we hit the technique differently so also you know trust yourself that obviously not to the extreme because you know you don't know everything but keep faith in yourself like how your body wants to do a technique how it is shaped etc you know that's uh that's a great point because <clears throat> And you know how you said that when we do Uchi Komi, we do it one way. And then sometimes we do Nagi Komi and we do it like the classical way, the way it's supposed to be done. But then we do it completely different in Randori. So my, my, um, my thought regarding that would be, well, you know, you could only fight the way you practice. <laughs> and, you know, like, yes, it's important to understand the mechanics of Uchi Komi and Nagi Komi of, you know, Kuzushi and then, you know, the classic stuff, but I think it's also important for you to, for us to practice how we're actually going to do it in, in, uh, in Randori. So, you know, if your grips are slightly different, then you should practice with that grip specifically, like to, to when you're doing your, your Nagi Komi. And, and a funny story, funny story regarding that is that at one point I was, uh, I remember this class, uh, you know, we took out the crash mats. And then from there, like the coach is like, okay, I want you to do uh, this technique, do it like this. I forgot what was the technique. And then I was with um, uh, one of my teammates. Uh, he's a black belt. He used to be on the national team. <laughs> and so then when it was hit, like I was doing the froze, the Nagi Komi. And then when it was his turn, he completely switched his grip around. Like he didn't grip the, 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 the way the coach was uh, uh, told us to grip. And uh, then I told them, you know, I tried to correct them. I said, oh, no, we're supposed to do it like this, like that, like that. And then he's like, yeah, I know, but I've always done it this way. And this way works for me. <laughs> and I, I kind of prefer it this way. And so I'm going to do it my way. And then I was like, that makes sense. <laughs> because he, he knows his body. He knows, he knows like what he's good at, what he's comfortable with and like why like in his mind why would he practice something that he's not even going to use and that it just feels uncomfortable for him because he he's been training for a long time so he told me no this is you know like i'm just going to do it the way like practice what i i know best and what i know works for me for my body type and yeah that made a lot of sense to me so sometimes i think that not not always you have to be careful with this you know, because I, I don't want people to think that, oh, you should listen to your coach and do, do whatever the heck you want. Because, you know, you have to be at a certain level to be able to do this. You know, like if you're a beginner, I would say lean more towards listening to your coach. But if you're a little bit more advanced and you have experience yeah. and you kind of you're, you know your body, you've done a lot of sports, then maybe, you know, like, like you said, if your coach told you something and now all of a sudden <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't pull it off anymore maybe you should, you know, consider, uh, you know, reanalyzing, reassessing the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, for example, even in the same team, like, look at Ono's entry for Uchimata and then look at Mariyama. Mariyama actually has a back step. He back steps his left leg so he can, like, charge and push while Ono just, like, he's like this and then just chops in directly because... Um, maybe Mariyama wants that explosive entry so he can lift his opponent up while Ono just stabs that leg because it's just so monstrously muscular. So it, everyone is different, I would say. Yeah, 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 yeah. That Exactly. Like, you have to go with your strengths too. And, you know, like, one thing that people, <clears throat> I remember my coach, like, made me realize is that at one point I was trying to learn um, Uranagi. <clears throat> and I wanted to... To, to be able to do that. And then my coach looked at me and he said, listen, you don't have the body type to do this. And your legs and your, your lower back, it's not your strong suit. Like it takes years to develop that. And some people have natural, uh, uh, just naturally strong legs and, and, and lower back. And they've been training this for a while and they've been throwing people and wrestling for a long period. So it's their style. They're able to do your this. back. Hmm? Or the arch in your back, like uh, some backs are more flexible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think about that, but yeah, that makes sense too. And and so he told me like that's not your thing. Like you could try to get good at that, but why don't you just do you? And these are your strengths. This is what your style is more uh, in tune with. You know, you're more speed, precision. You have like flexibility. You have mobility. So 
your judo should be based around that. Don't try to just do copy the copy a certain uh, another judoka who you like his style because it looks so cool. Like you like it, but it doesn't mean you should necessarily try to emulate that guy either because that guy maybe has like his legs are twice the size of yours and he's been wrestling his whole life and slamming people on their heads with Uranage. And you, you just learned that like at the age of 35, you know? Like for example, look at like, I'm very skinny. I, I, I cannot do a Kvinyashvili's judo or Iliadis' judo. They should, they're built like tanks. You're right. Yeah, yeah, those guys are huge. Like, that's it. You can't emulate guys like that. You know, those guys have, like, I think they have wrestling backgrounds, too, if I'm not mistaken. Like, um, you know, like... Uh, I'm not sure about wrestling, but, like, you cannot do their upper body work the same way. It's just impossible, unless you're fighting women. Like, I'm talking about myself. Yeah, yeah, or, or like, somebody uh, very light, you know? So, uh, you know, kids, you know, teenagers, you, you, could, you could practice on them. But uh, guys uh, of, you know, your height, your weight, eh, maybe not the best uh, way to go. <laughs> you should, yeah, you should go for more. Uh, like, for example, that's why I love Basile's judo. Basile is not particularly strong, mm -hmm. but he gets his opponents moving. And then when he executes the technique, they're already doing half the job for him because they were moving. Like, for example, the Kataguruma, he takes you sideways and then he just blocks your legs and gets your arm on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. Or uh, his Dea Shibarai, he, he gets you moving so he can sweep you. Or, you know, he doesn't do something very statically or just lifts you. Like, he, he needs to make sure you're moving and then executes. Because in 73, they're all just very strong. They have Orujov, Ono, uh, Hashimoto, uh, even Anne is very strong. So he needs to get them moving. But, I mean, in my opinion, he should have stayed at 66 because he's, uh, they're far stronger than him. Uh, and also... I would say he would have done a, a lot better in 66, but that's a different conversation.